Okay, for this last part of the question then, we already know that gf of x is equal to 4e to the 4x. And we're told that if you were to differentiate gf of x, okay, with respect to x, and it comes to 3, what we've got to do is find x to three significant figures. So, how do I do that? We need to start by differentiating 4e to the 4x. And if you were to differentiate that, you get the 4, that's this 4, multiplied by the differential of e to the 4x. What is e to the ax when you differentiate it? Well, it's a result that you should know already. Okay, dy by dx always turns out to be a e to the power ax. It's done through the chain rule. If you're not sure of that, just go on my website, you'll find out how to do that. But it is a standard result, one as I say I would encourage you to learn. So when it comes over to here then, when we differentiate e to the 4x, we're going to get 4e to the 4x. So this is multiplied then by 4e to the 4x. And this is equal to 3. So what we've got then is 16e to the 4x equals the 3. And what we need to do now is to divide both sides by 16, giving us e to the 4x equals 3 sixteenths. Now, to work out what 4x is, we need to take natural logs to both sides. If we take the natural log of e to the 4x, we just get 4x, okay? And then we take the natural log to this side, we have the natural log of 3 sixteenths. And so to get x, all I need to do is times both sides by a quarter, or divide by 4, same thing. So I'm going to write it as a quarter, though, okay, of the natural log of 3 sixteenths. So just get on your calculator and work that out. And you'll therefore have that x equals minus 0.4184 and so on. And because we're asked to give this to three significant figures, then this is going to be minus 0.4182 three significant figures. Okay, 3SF. Okay, well, that brings us now anyway to the end of this question.